Hello, this is Cindy. Welcome to my channel. And I am back in the craft room with a bit of a, I'm going to call it a fail. So um, I went to a retreat last weekend, a scrapbook retreat, and I took with me five journals, five pieces ready to put together as a journal. I completed four of them. I started this one and I kept stopping. I stopped twice. Um, I did one journal all the way through. I pulled this one out. I said, okay, I'm going to put this one together. I put started putting the signature together. I really got stymied. It, it was stopping me. And what I've learned is that when you hit a wall, go around it. Stop trying to go over. So I set it aside and I said, I will go do something else. So I made two other journals. And on Sunday morning, I pulled this out and I said, okay, let's figure this one out. I worked on it for a little while longer and I said, nope, it is still not working. I'm going to go home. I have a theory as to why it wasn't working. I wanted to confirm it with my husband because he has a really good eye. So I got home and I handed him this and I said, this doesn't work. Tell me why. And the first thing he did was go to color. Now he went and he said, there's not enough green in it. And I said, it's supposed to be a red and green, a red and white journal, red, white, you know, and then of course the cover in the inside is white. So it was going to be a red and white journal. And I said, but the color, the red colors don't match, do they? He goes, no, not even a little bit. And I don't know if this is going to come up on camera or not. So I have this red, beautiful, bright red cover. And then this kind of, I don't want to call it, it's not burgundy. It's more of a muted red. And when you put them together, the reds don't match. Not even a little bit. And again, I don't know if this is going to come out on, on um, camera or not. If my camera has, has enough sensitivity to pick up that color. So I said, well, then I guess the first thing I have to do is abandon this cover. Not abandon it completely, but this cover is not the right cover for this journal. So, all right, I can deal with that. Set it aside. That cover's gone. And this actually makes a fairly nice cover. I've got, I'm, everything's kind of shoved out there, so let me push it all back in. That could make a very nice cover. That makes a nice little journal, even as it is. But when I start going through the journal... You know, that looks okay together. This sticks out like a sore thumb. It's all of a sudden, poop green in the middle of a red and white journal. So that needs to come out. And this came, these, I liked these. These came, came out cool. And I thought the, the colors worked all right there with, on the candy canes. Because that's what initially I had in my mind, that this was going to be a candy cane journal. This actually it has a secret on it, and we won't talk about that right now. But I made pockets. And I have a nice little pocket. That's going to be a pocket. I have a tuck space. That works well. So we're going all right, right? Everything's working okay. These colors work together. They're the same kind of um, muted red. It's not a bright red. It's all muted. And then we have a bright scarlet red. We have to take that one out. So that page comes out. Where'd it go there? We'll put it up there. Uh, which means now I kind of have this white on white. So we've got to figure out something there. I liked that muted. That, that color red works. This color red, if I put it right next to it, isn't quite as good. But I have the, it's just a piece of wax paper over it. And that works okay. I might emboss the wax paper. I haven't tried doing that yet. I've got my pockets in the middle. And then coming back out, it's more of the same. But you can see, I, I actually started working on I have stuff in here. It's a little bit bright, but, you know, it's going to be what it's going to be. I have a nice little envelope flip. Um, but I have, I basically just have... Get that in there the right way. Too many different, I had too many different reds. So my fail is, I'm fixing my fail. So how many pages now do I have? One, two, three. 
three, four, is that right? It feels like there's three, yeah, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, uh oh, thirteen. There are thirteen pieces, and, and you know, I'm. The way this journal is going, I can't deal with any more superstition. So I have to find another page to put in there. I'll be right back. I'm going to find some other pages that I can use for this. Okay, I am back. Um, so I have found a couple of things. First of all, I just wanted to say that most of these papers came out of these two packs. Pepper and Stripe, and I only have really a bright gold left. I only have those papers left of this and it doesn't fit. So that one's not going to be. And then say freeze uh, from these are uh, yeah those are both recollections. Um, and I mean I got this one from there. I got this one from there. But it, it didn't have anything else in there that I would be interested in using. I did find this page, which I have used elsewise, but I think it's too bright, so I put that aside, and I found a coloring book page that on the back has a very light brown. That might work. But then in this Craft Smart paper block, which I believe I also got from Michaels, and again, these papers are several years old, and since I bought them on clearance, I suspect they were not even that year's when I bought them. And I think the this color works well. Get that back in there. That color works well. So I'm going to cut that one down. I also found a doily um, cuz I don't since I took the one doily out, I'm thinking so that it will go from 13, 14, 15, no, yeah, 13, 14, 15, 16 pages. Uh, and that should should be okay. If I use the doily. I haven't decided yet on that. So let me cut this one down. Okay, I put my the arm down. After all these years, this arm does not work really well for going up and down. So I have a tendency when I'm home just to leave it up. And since this is a general pattern and it doesn't really matter which side is eight and a half and which one is 11. We're just going to cut it this way, eight and a half by 11. And the other one doesn't need to be cut. So let's decide where I want to put it. I think I want to put it in this spot here. Yeah. Finding reds, re matching reds is almost as bad as matching blues. I don't know if you've ever tried to match blues before, but oh my glory, it can be obnoxious. I am looking, I'm not completely unpacked yet or re you know, back into my, into my craft room. I still I have things in approximately the right places. They're not all in exactly the right places. So if I put that in there, that looks good that way. And then this way, I still have that white. So let me see what I can do with this. This one's a little bit long on the top and the bottom. I'm going to try to do this without hitting the camera. I have rearranged my craft room just a little bit. When I put things back in, I did not put them in exactly where I had them before. Trying to be, uh, trying something a little bit new as, the, as far as some of my arrangements go. So, we'll see how that goes. All right, now, the question comes, how much of this do I want to do it here? I think I do. Let's fold it there so I have this beautiful ornament that shows up here. I'll tuck that up underneath there. And then on this side, we have this much. We're going to need a little something over here. 
but I am much happier. I still look pretty tall. I might have to cut that down a little bit more. I am much happier with this journal at this point. Do I want to throw this in here? Come here. Hey, why not? Let's go ahead and put it in and we'll see what we can do with it at some other point. All right, I'm not gonna decorate today. Uh, I just, I needed to get this fixed because I just couldn't stand how it looked. I mean, I even started putting lace on it and the whole bit. I really was going at this full tilt thinking, yep, this is it. And a whole time in the back of my head, I'm going, it's not it. This is not it, it's not right. It just doesn't work right. So there we go. Leave comments below because I'm not going to work on this right now. I'm just looking at how it, it is. What would you change? Would you reorder any of the pages? Would you, what would you do? Would you put something else in entirely? Did I put something in? Is there something else I should still take out? Because I can still take things out. That's what's nice about this particular piece. In fact, I'm thinking, let me find it. I might yet take out, I keep thinking I might want to take that page out. It says candy canes, and I really like the candy canes. But it's a little bit pinky. It's a little bit pinky in its, in its red. All right, let me know what you think. Okay, if you're enjoying these videos, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. Click like if you uh, are enjoying them to let YouTube know that you like them. And leave me, a, really, truly, leave me a comment below. I, I'm really kind of struggling with this particular journal. And I would love some opinions on what you think should happen with it. Um, it's still in its early stages, so there's still lots of time. To, if you think there are other pages I should be taking out, you know, I keep leaning at this candy cane page. I really like it, but I'm not sure that it fits. So if you think it should come out, let me know. In the meantime, this is Cindy signing off.